Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Well, I'm back again with another uh, Space Chili Pod review for you guys. Uh, these were sent to me from the Pepper King himself, Mr. Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. And make sure you check him out at superhotchilies.com. He is proud to offer the rarest, not only the hottest, but the mildest and the sweetest and the most unique, flavorful, uh, peppers and chili seeds, plants and fresh chilies. So make sure you check him out. I think it's just awesome what uh, Jim Duffy is doing uh, this year, especially uh, by introducing some milder chilies. Uh, doesn't have to be hot, you know. Um, I think the milder chilies, flavorful chilies, uh, chilies from all over the world need to be introduced uh, uh, to the U.S. Uh, to the culinary world. And he's focusing on chefs. He's focusing on foodies. And I think it's just an awesome job uh, that Jim is doing in trying to get uh, different, unique, milder, flavorful peppers introduced to the culinary world. So that's just awesome. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do another one of these space chilies that he sent. Uh, this one today is the HJ5. Uh, this is the uh, Helix Nebula. Once again, uh, I'll put all the link and the information in the description. But uh, the seeds were sent to Jim from Jenny Song. Uh, she's the uh, Szechuan flower pepper expert uh, located over there in the UK and uh, she provided or sent the seeds to, to Jim. Been growing them out I believe for a couple of years now. Uh, you know China's been involved in this space uh, breeding program by uh, sending seeds uh, up into outer space uh, and subjecting them to cosmic radiation and zero gravity and they believe that that's affecting uh, the growth of these chilies, uh, making them more nutritious, more disease uh, resistant, and uh, higher yields. So it's just incredible. And another thing I just wanted to mention, I thought this is pretty cool. They've really ramped up their uh, uh, program within the last five or six years, doubled uh, the investments in it. And uh, they're also not only doing it with vegetables and with peppers, but also with rice and wheat. And uh, they've been uh, reported to have improved uh, the yields by 4%. So they're doing that. Uh, their population in China is huge. Uh, so they're going to they're gonna spend money and doing what they can to help their own people or their own farmers. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd share that. But let's go ahead and get into the uh, HJ5 uh, Helix Nebula. Uh, it says this is a... Um, got a little bit of more information from Jenny Song's website. It is a... Long claw shaped corkscrew, thick flesh, 75 to 80 days sowing to flowering, high cropping, disease resistant, uh, germination rate 85% plus. So let's get into this and see how this one tastes. And I've actually got two of these, and uh, we're going to taste uh, how one tastes uh, roasted up with some olive oil and uh, some seasonings and some sea salt. Mmm. Sweet, crunchy, a little bit juicy. Well, I love peppers like this. Mm. Much better than a bell pepper. A little bit of spiciness. I, I believe the more I get closer to the end, it's going to be a little more spicy, but. Mm. Probably getting to the seeds now. <clears throat> seeds on these things are big. A little bit spicier. Sweet, fruity flavored. <clears throat> kind of taking out a little bit of these seeds here. Trying to swallow all of them. Mm. See how big the seeds are?
I love the flavor on these things. It's not bitter. It's not earthy. It's not grassy tasting. Um, kind of bell pepperish, but better. It's a little sweet. Got a little bit of um, fruitiness to it, in my opinion. Not bitter, not floral at all. It's got a, um, a nice spiciness to it. Now it's kind of on the tip of the tongue the more I talk. Um, but not uh, nearly as hot as the H Day 10 Afterglow. But I uh, just wanted to see how these, I love roasting up peppers like this. A little bit of olive oil, uh, sea salt. Let me go ahead and cut some of this. Oops. All right, here we go. Awesome. I think when you when you roast the peppers like this, it kind of kills the heat just a little bit. Mm. Fantastic. Wow, if the rest are as flavorful as that, um, these things are great. I think they'd be good in stir fries and salads. Just anything that you want to use peppers for, just uh, any type of, um, you know, I think that'd be good to chop up, you know, like that, put it on a pizza. Um, I think they're also, most of these it says are good for drying uh, to make pepper powders out of. But that was the uh, HJ5 Helix Nebula. Awesome flavor, a little bit spicy. I believe it's, uh, Possibly around uh, a jalapeno, excuse me, jalapeno in heat. Um, probably maybe a little bit less, but uh, great flavor, a little bit sweet, a little bit sweet or fruity. Uh, awesome flavor on it. But uh, make sure you check these out. Uh, I believe seeds will be available later on in the year, just not sure. But Jim is uh, from Refining Fire Chilies is uh, wanting to get people's opinions on these. I know he is sending them to chefs uh, to do some cooking with. So, but very fun peppers, awesome. I mean, just think of what that would look like growing to, to show others uh, the size of those chili peppers. But uh, check them out at superhotchilies.com. Jim, thanks a lot for sending that one. I appreciate it. Stay tuned, everybody, for more uh, chili or space chili pepper reviews. And until next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.